Hey up everyone. Right, so I basically want to talk about um, what's going on in America. Um, so right now, um, we're leading up to an election. There's going to be an election in November, like a general election for the president, right? So so right now the Democratic Party um, are going through a process of trying to decide who is going to be their candidate, right? Um, and they're whittling it down. There was quite a few people who stood initially, but over time it's been whittled down right and so they're basically going through what's called the primaries at the moment now you know it's america so they don't do anything in any kind of normal way that ordinary people would do it so instead of it just all the different areas all having elections at the same time they decide to do it all at different times so basically right now had three different primaries that have happened right and they have this crazy caucus thing, and it's it's a very strange thing. To be fair, the more you look at it, the more you think, whoever came up with this must have been about a five-year-old or something, because this is just seems to be like some kind of crazy madness what they go through over there. But anyhow, whatever, that's the way they do things. But what's interesting about this is that we're seeing a very similar sort of thing as to what happened in Britain, right? So as far as I can remember, in this country, we've... We've had governments who are like right-wing, pro-capitalist, pro-profit, do you know what I mean? Similar sort of similar sort of ideology that they had, yeah. And then we had this candidate, Jeremy Corbyn, who was quite left-wing and wanted to do things in a different way and wanted to basically um, make capitalism more about like meeting the needs of other people and stuff and he had like keynesian economic ideas he was the only person who had any idea about how to help us economically and then yeah whatever the country decided it wanted people it wanted a government where homelessness has gone through the roof 300 percent. they were like yeah we like that let's have some more homelessness yeah where disabled people are being attacked yeah we like that let's vote for that yeah so basically the country decided to vote for idiocy and fucking f right-wing demagogues rather than somebody who wanted to actually help the country and help poor people but anyhow right whatever that's so what's that's what happened in britain but the thing is that like i've seen a very similar thing happen in america so if you remember like the last time they had this election was in 2016 yeah and it was basically hillary clinton versus trump but before hillary became the candidate for the democrats there was there was like the same thing that they're going through right now and like her main competitor was bernie sanders is like you know he's probably the most left-wing politician in america he describes himself as a democratic socialist he's got ideas about health care and stuff and a lot of his policies and his ideas and a lot of his economic ideas are basically exactly the same as what jeremy corbyn's were um but the Democratic Party basically went all out to stop Sanders last time and they pushed Hillary Clinton and that's the way it went and then Hillary Clinton lost to fucking Trump, right? But anyhow, right, so this next time around, Bernie Sanders is standing again, yeah? There's no Hillary this time. Uh, there's a lot of people who most people have never even fucking heard of, do you know what I mean? We've got Elizabeth Warren, who's also a little bit of a left-winger. And then we've got loads of people who nobody's ever heard of. Pete Berdajek, well, who the fuck are you, right, whatever. Some woman, who I don't even know what her name is, because I can't remember what her name is, that's how, that's how much I know about her. And then we've got some fucking crazy billionaire, fucking Mike Bloomberg. Yeah, whatever, that's the last thing we need. <laughs> I mean, we don't need any more billionaires in the fucking White House. And why are you standing as a Democrat, I don't know. Why people are voting for this guy, I don't know. But what's interesting is that Bernie Sanders is doing unbelievably well, right? Essentially, he's just uh, won the Nevada um, primary. So this is the third primary, and this is the third one that he's won. So he's won all three of them, right? This is, this is like... Um, kind of unheard of do you know in terms of like so they do it with like delegates so they end up with delegates they have to get like 1900 and something delegates before they get the actual nomination and like we're right at the very beginning of this 
He's got like 30 delegates, whatever. But that's much, much more than anybody else has got. Do you know what I mean? Like Elizabeth Warren's got like six, I think, or something like that. I think there's not that many of them who are even into double figures, and he's, but he's got 30 of them. And like we've got this thing that's called Super Tuesday coming up. So like I said, you would expect all of the places to all vote at the same time, but they don't do this. Some of them vote earlier. But this Super Tuesday is like there's a, a lot of different places that are all voting on the same day. So by that point, we should have had about half of the delegates done, so we should be able to see exactly what's happening. But it's really interesting that right now, Bernie Sanders is 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 way, way ahead of everybody else. Like, by a lot, by a lot. I mean, you can see the figures here. Um, he's, he's just way, way ahead in terms of delegate and in terms of the popular vote. He's got over 1,000... Um, well, more than 1,000 um, more in terms of the popular vote. Um, the thing is that, like... Do you know, as an anarchist, I don't generally vote. But, like, when it was the election time over here, I did vote, and I voted for, for Jeremy Corbyn because I thought that we were in a bit of a crisis and we needed... So we needed a new direction and stuff, and that it was quite important to get the Tories out, yeah? And there's, I think there's a similar sort of thing going on in America in that we, we've got to get rid of Trump. Do you know what I mean? Trump is the worst thing that's ever happened to America. Do you know what I mean? America's standing in the world has just gone down because of Trump. Do you know what I mean? Everybody just sees him as a demagogue. It's like any respect that anybody had for America has gone completely because of Trump. Do you know what I mean? But, like... Bernie Sanders represents like a change, a massive change, and different change, a different direction for the country to take. Do you know? And like I just listened to um, one of his speeches. It's about twenty five minutes long or something. One of the longest ones I've seen of him. And basically, every single policy Bernie is just spot on. Do you know what I mean? Spot on. In terms of but everything really he's talking about road versus v wade he's talking about the insurance companies he's talking about health care he's talking about housing he's talking about education he's talking about up in the infrastructure every single issue it's basically a carbon copy of what jeremy corbyn was saying in this country so so i'm kind of getting a bit excited about this because if if bernie managed to become the the candidate then you would have a, a, a real difference for the people to, to choose over. Do you know what I mean? More of the Trump and his right-wing religious bigotry, anti-immigrants, hating people who are not white, whatever. And then you've got then you've got somebody who who wants to radically change the country, who want, who talks about over to, like changing capitalism, making it much fairer, like going against the rich, going against the one percent. This is something that you don't really see in American politics at all, but yet he's doing it and he seems to be striking a chord with people. So we've got m m many more people who are voting for him and, he and he's, he's way, way, way out in the front. So, so I think this is quite an interesting time in America and in American politics. And if I was in America, I'd definitely be voting for Bernie. Uh, feel the burn. But... Um, but yeah, I mean, we don't know where this is going to end. We don't know what's going to happen here. But it's really encouraging. And um, I'm just looking forward to see where America's going to go with this. Are you actually going to vote a democratic socialist to be the president of the United States? Because that would just be pretty fucking awesome if that happened. Uh, so I don't know where it's going to end up. But vote for Bernie!